Hi guys and girls, it's username K and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to deliver to you guys my initial impressions on Suzuki's V-Strom 800DE. So if you're interested to hear what I have to say about this bike, then keep watching and I'll roll the intro. Right guys, it's time to ride the V-Strom 800 DE. First I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it you in a bit more detail. If we walk around here, please ignore the obnoxious Insta360 pole. This is literally YouTube in life for you. But here she is, Suzuki's V-Strom 800 DE. We have it in champion yellow with this, looks blue in some lights, looks purple in others, but we have this kind of, it's not soft plastic, but it kind of feels quite soft on your legs, which is quite nice. As you can see up top, we've got a 21 inch front. We've got 220 mil of suspension travel and we've got a gravel mode, which seems like it will be perfect on this terrain. Okay guys, so I've just got it set traction control to gravel we've got the throttle response mode in B which is street or standard I don't think I quite need it to be in C but I think on this kind of terrain as I'm exiting this area might be a little bit whoa, whoa, hot on there now for those of you who want to know more about this bike in a lot of detail I will pop a link up uh, just up here so if you click on that it'll give you the full walk round but for now we're gonna hop on and see what it's like to ride. Okay, karate chop here. Get it off the stand, oh God. <clears throat> it ain't the lightest and it's certainly pretty damn tall, that is for sure. Right, we've got Suzuki's quick start button, watch this. On the button. And then, let, let's get cracking. It's horrible to ride on these cobbles. Awful, in fact. There we go. Onto gravel. That'll do us. Whoa. It feels real nice to stand up on as an adventure bike. Is my whoa! Look at that view. Gosh, sometimes you just need to turn your head when you can just see. Oh man, this is why I love living near Rivington. I love it. Anyway, back to the bike review. So, standing up, super comfy. The tank is perfect for your legs. We've got a quick shifter. That just makes life nice and easy when you stood up and you're holding onto the bars for grim death. Well, lots of potholes, but the suspension is wonderfully soft. Thank you. Wow, gorgeous. Oh. But yeah, not phased. I've got not, I uh, probably say like 80 20 road tyres. Honestly, they've got like a bit of a an off roady look, but not quite a knobbly look, if that makes sense. Yeah, this seems pretty nice to be fair. stays beautifully. It's got a good amount of power. Oh man. Yeah, this is fun. A bit like green laning if you can call that that. I don't even think it was severe enough to be called green laning. 
boat is just so capable and it's bloody lovely lots of bumps oh nice feeling the the back move a little bit we love it we love it bit of gravel here no dramas yeah lovely bike to stand up on very confidence inspiring it feels light whilst it's moving 230 kilograms wet but by god it doesn't feel like that and the engine poke we've got 81.7 brake horsepower and look at the views just absolutely gorgeous we've got car coming up here I'm loving the V-Strom 800D so far. I'm absolutely loving it. I feel like if I was to own the bike, I could very much benefit from a low seat, which would reduce it 20 millimeters, so two centimeters, and it would take it to 835 mil, which is, you know, a much more comfortable height for me especially if I did want to green lane it because as it stands um, if I sit in the center of the seat I actually can't really touch the floor <laughs> I've got a bit of a leg dangle going on which is absolutely not what we need in life clear let's go okay so I'm gonna put the modes back to how they should be Put traction control in level two, we'll behave ourselves. We'll put the throttle response in full power and we'll put our ABS back on two. I wonder if I can do it on the fly. No, it's not really letting me. But I've got a bit of ABS, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, so we're back on tarmac now. And yeah, let's take it over some nice twisties and I will let you guys know what I think. Oh, the views are just prolific. They're just gorgeous. <sighs> you know what? Life's not all that bad. So you know we, we have bikes like the GS that have a 19 inch front, this is a 21 so it is geared more towards a bit of you know serious off-roading and yeah I have ridden this bike a fair bit because I rode it back from Milton Keynes, I then rode it to the ABR festival yeah, I've got a lot to say about it. I've got a lot to say. So, first off, riding position. I've done many miles on this bike so far, and the riding position is beautifully comfy. It actually feels like a big adventure bike. The V Strong 1050 to me kind of just felt like a bit of a giant naked, but this is just giving me, you know, actual adventure bike vibes. I really like that about it. It's got a nice commanding presence on the road. So at the heart of this, we have a parallel twin. I know a lot of you are sick of parallel twins on the market, but I like them. 81.7 brake horsepower, 73 newton meters of torque. The handling on this, oh, you just push on the bar and it dips in nicely. We've got a quick shifter and an auto blipper that is silky smooth. Honestly, it's lovely. We don't have cruise control. I know that's quite a gripe for a lot of you that are adventure bike, big mile munching lovers. And it doesn't come with heated grips as standard. If you want a genuine pork pine Suzuki ones, £350. 
probably plus fitted. The screen, screen is quite short, or short and stout, but I don't really get any buffering. I don't get any buffering on the helmet. But yeah, it's just, it feels good. I like it as an adventure bike. The seat is comfy. One of the things that I noticed when jumping on this bike and you know, getting off the GSX 8S and then onto this bike, the suspension is so luxurious. It's so plush. Honestly, you feel like you're gliding on a magical carpet. It's almost giving telly lever suspension. Not in the sense that it doesn't dive, because obviously it dives. Like, we're, we're dipping on the front. You can feel it. But, just its elegant, glidey nature of going over bumps. It is a real plushy suspension. And you know what? If it's too soft for you from factory, because I know um, the average person probably weighs a little bit more than me, you know, it's fully adjustable suspension on the front. And we can adjust it the preload on the rear. So, we've got options. But let's just say, if you're doing, you know, some big miles, it's, uh, it's very plush, very comfy, luxurious. Trident? Yeah, I'd even say luxurious is the word. I just want to know what's down there. Maybe I should try and look one day. Brakes are lovely on this bike. We've got a nice progressive feel when we squeeze the lever and they do stop here. We've got twin discs on the front. You know what? I think maybe how plush the suspension is as well might be down to that 220 mil of travel because there's a lot of silver showing on them forks. There's a lot of silver on show. My grandmother would be proud. But even though I've just jumped on it and you've just seen me do a couple of miles, I've put, I've put a shift in, I've put the time in. I'm time served on this bike when it comes to big miles. And let me tell you, it is comfy. So one of the things that I, I really like about this bike is I like how it is a very capable off-road bike. You know, just with all the things that it has, we've got a gravel traction control mode. We've got the ability to knock the ABS completely off the rear, which is excellent if you want to stick a set of knobblies on and actually go and do some proper green learning and, you know, finding the nice trails. Okay guys, I wasn't going to take you up Rivington, I wasn't going to, but I've just been going on about how much of a capable off-road bike this is. I want to show you how nicely it flows on the twisties, because it's very deceptive. I'm seeing these everywhere. What's going on? I just want to give you guys a taste of just how lovely it handles and it glides through the twisties but we'll wait till we get past the national sign which is here we're in second gear and um, we'll wind it on so it picks up beautifully it drops in real nice oh the power honestly the pickup is like that certainly fast enough for national speed limits it tips in as you can see so nicely all you've got to do is just push nice and gentle on the bars and it's very responsive in terms of steering a flighty front end though when we went over a bit of a bump and we were pushing so I suppose the steering does have its limitations but look flowing around here flowing drop 
drop down with the blipper. Oh, lovely. The quick shifter and auto blipper just make life easier. They make it feel quite a bit sporty. It's not got like a naked bike chassis where everything feels tight and like super precise but I think for an adventure bike it um it could probably hold its own very well on a nice spirited country ride out. Second gear here because we've got a nice tighty nice tidy bend but yeah plenty poke oh it gets there it really does let's go around here but yeah it flows you know it doesn't feel as cumbersome as you would expect an adventure bike to feel sometimes there's gravel around here not something I want to risk. I think this bike is best suited for a bit of off-roading. I think it's suited for mega mile munching and pure comfort. And then I'd probably say it's, like there, it's strong suit. And then below would be like the tight twisties, because obviously, you know, 21 inch front you know long suspension travel it did well it did well but if you want a back lane slayer there are there are other bikes that will do it better i mean i'm used to a gs which is completely incomparable to this because it's a 1200 but we have got that smaller you know front wheel and that is quite good for for carving up the back lanes um, just got a bit more precision and uh, you feel a little bit just a little bit more planted oh we've got gravel here disgusting <coughs> gravel you <coughs> car on your side of the road and you're not prepared to stop or even slow down all I'm asking is that you slow down Jesus now I'll tell you one thing I have noticed with the bike and the engine gets extremely warm on the right hand side when you've been you know, one when it's a really hot day, so it may only trouble you for about five days a year in the UK. Or two, if you are doing big miles and um, you are revving it. For some reason, it's not even particularly the left side of the engine, but the right side, oh, it's like it came out of the Ducati factory. yeah first impression I like the V-Strop I really like the 800 DE I love the quick shifter and auto blipper for road riding I love its presence I love how tall you feel you can just see everything and I love the fact that like now again not proper off-road tires but we just we did a little bit there did we we did a bit you know i'm not saying we're gonna do Erzberg or Lagars or Romaniacs but yeah we had a little bimble on the loose stuff and it were all right it was fun it was fun and you could put a bit of power down i kind of liked it 20 litre tank um, don't ask me about how many miles I do get to the tank because I did keep a record of it but like a terrible vlogger I don't know where I've kept a record of it so I'll just have to go out from full tank and see how many miles to it I get but for now thus far it's showing oh get off the mode it's showing that we're doing 61.6 mpg 
yeah I can dangle both of my feet and honestly it's like I'm back to being a toddler being plonked on my dad's GS with my little feet dangling it's giving nostalgia but it's amazing how much I am not able to really touch the floor at all on this so yeah like I said at the beginning of the video if I was going to own this it would definitely be uh, with a low seat 100% and then would that affect comfort I don't know because I haven't ridden one with a low seat so I mean because that's one of the big massive pluses for me about this bike is how deliciously snug my butt feels anyway guys on a slightly different note what do you guys think of my new kit <laughs> i can't take myself seriously so as you guys know for the last five years i've rocked an oxford mondial but as a full-time youtuber you know you get a bit worried that people are gonna think you're on oxford's payroll well that's not the case so you know purely as a youtuber reviewing perspective i'm trying something new and so far i'm actually really gelling with it but i think at a later date i might even do like a, a review of my whole wardrobe so if anybody is interested lady wise obviously it's not really much use to a dude but i might even do a little breakdown of what my kit is what i have yeah the dash the dash is super easy to understand i love it i love how we've got the light blue for the revs then the dead space is like a dark blue and then you've got the red you know it the colors look retro and i like that i really like it but yeah so far I am loving the V-Strap. I don't want to give it back. Well, the next bike that I get from Suzuki is going to be the 1050 V-Strap. But again, the 2023 one. So I've ridden the, you know, older one, the, the one that is a bit outdated. And uh, yeah, we're going to ride, we're going to ride the newer one. So I actually can't wait to see what it's like in comparison to the 800 because the gap's closing now isn't it the gap's closing we had the 650 then we had the 1050 now we've got the the little old 800 in the middle so guys i'm gonna round off my video there but yeah let me know what you think about the v-strom do you like it do you think it is good competition for the transalp I can't comment like I mentioned but I'm certainly looking forward to seeing what I think of them. So guys I'm going to wrap up my first impressions there. I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog on the V-Strom, what I think about it, you know, on, up on first impressions. So far so good, really enjoying it, don't want to give it back, I'm having too much fun. Well guys. If you've liked this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And until the next time, take care and ride safe. Bye. Can't believe it. I've just, uh, I have my Insta360 on the back and it's dropped down smashed on the ground it's been dragging along the floor so today's been a very expensive day but there's no point getting mad because if i get mad it is what it is isn't it you all right oh that's lovely That's lovely. I like it. Yeah, I love it. Proper nice. Yeah, I just stopped to change batteries. I'm okay though. All right. But I appreciate you stopping. No problem. Very kind of you. Yeah. Take care. Everyone broke down here. What? Everyone broke down. Yeah, not broke down. <laughs>
see you later. Oh. Uh, it's a V-Strom D uh, 800DE, so it's the new one. You're not you today, am I? Yet? That's me, yeah. Yeah, I'm done it. <laughs> yeah. Watch your wall. What? Watch your wall. Huh? Watch all you. Oh, do you? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate that. What's your name? Pardon? What's your name? Okay. Awesome. I know yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super. Oh, well, so safe riding anyway. Yeah, is that new helmet? You're on. Right. You're on camera. Uh, new helmet. Oh, new helmet, yeah. Because I crashed in my other one on track and headbutted the tarmac. <laughs> so, yeah, that's in the bin now. <sighs> okay, see ya. Awesome. See you later, man. What a guy. I couldn't hear him for toffee because I've got my earplugs in. But he seemed lovely, didn't he?